Okay so Mark Cuban recently went on the Sean Hannity show and they debated their preferred presidential candidates. As expected, Hannity credited Trump for the growing economy he inherited and absolved him for the post-coronavirus downturn, and blamed Obama for the sinking ship he inherited and ignored the turnaround and the ensuing six years of growth, which Trump would later inherit, which of course, he credits Trump. Now, while I am going to show that all of these indicators that Hannity praises Trump for are trends that he inherited from Obama, I want to make another point first. This economic recovery that began under Obama, which Trump inherited was stalled by the GOP. The Republican Party did what they could to sabotage the economic recovery during Obama's two terms, which included defeating the American Jobs Act in the Senate. This bill was voted along partisan lines. According to Moody's analytics, it would have created roughly 2 million extra jobs. The GOP defeated the bill because they weren't interested in improving the economy. They were interested in trying to make Obama a one-term president. Here is the famous quote by Mitch McConnell that the GOP's priority should be making Obama a one-term president. In other words, not fixing the economy. Not fixing income inequality. But fighting Obama. Our top political priority over the next two years should be to deny President Obama a second term. And sure enough, the GOP broke a record for filibusters under Obama's presidency. They even opposed his attempt to fight job outsourcing. In any case, let's get to it. Donald Trump uh, gave us record low after record low unemployment for every minority group in the country, not Joe and not Barack. And, yeah. and by that, he means he inherited a falling unemployment rate all across the board, which included every minority group. This is important. I really want an answer. So, he says he really wants an answer. But what he's about to quote ask is really more of a statement. He's going to load his alleged question with so many presuppositions that it's not really a question anymore. Then he's going to expect his guest to answer his question in a manner that accepts all of these false premises. So in eight years, the Obama-Biden record is 13 million more Americans on food stamps, 8 million more in poverty, the lowest labor participation rate since the 70s. So these are the effects of inheriting the worst recession since the Great Depression, and these trends were all reversed under the Obama-Biden administration. As for the labor force participation rate, we actually have updated numbers and, under Trump, we have a new record low. But of course, Sean Hannity doesn't want coronavirus to count. He wants to blame Obama and Biden for the mess they inherited, but absolve Trump for the mess that has fallen on his lap. And Donald Trump's record pre-corona. Like I said, Hannity wants to blame Obama and Biden for the mess they inherited, but absolve Trump for the mess that has fallen on his lap. Record low unemployment, African Americans fact, Hispanic Americans fact, Asian Americans, youth unemployment, women in the workplace. He's only been in office less than four years. In December of 2008, Sean Hannity was already referring to the recession as the Obama recession. Mind you, we were already several months into the recession, and Obama had just won the election the previous month, and wouldn't be inaugurated until the following month. But Hannity was already blaming the recession on Barack Obama. Oh. And by the way, Wall Street keeps sinking. Could it be the Obama recession, the fear that taxes are going to go up, forcing people to pull out of the market? All right, let's get to our phones here. As per so, I'm saying, okay, Obama, Obama and Biden, they took over after the last oh. really bad recession and grew the economy continuously. But when they had a, a, a problem to solve, which was the Great Recession 12 years ago, they solved it. Now, where, where are we now? We are not solving it. We've had bumps, and that's a beautiful thing. We're going wait, in the right direction. Right Mark, we just had 2.5 million new jobs and a record retail sales in the history of the country. <laughs> Yes, yes. Donald Trump did that, not Biden, yes. in the basement. You know I explained it to my kids, I, honestly, I explained it to my kids. When your bank account goes from $10 to $1, and then all of a sudden it goes to two, you can say you've doubled your bank account, but you're still down. Okay, in but they predicted 9.5 million jobs lost. We gained 2.5 million. Now, I didn't think that would happen until August. I never thought, I never saw 18% increase in retail sales. Did you? Did you catch that? Hannity wants us to credit Trump for the small bounce back, which is a fraction of what we've lost. But rather than compare that to what we've lost, Hannity wants us to compare that to what they whoever they are, said we were supposed to keep losing. No, and that goes back to what you said about entrepreneurs. They, they are the backbone of this country. Big and you know, time. I know, I know the American Joe people are. I know Joe Biden believes in entrepreneurship because I went to a White House event that he spoke about entrepreneurship. Okay, he spoke about it. Talk. Come on, what did he do in eight years as vice president? Tell me the biggest accomplishment in eight years. Tell me. The biggest accomplishment. 
What is? Oh, I think the APA is, is easily their biggest accomplishment, and it's unfortunate that they're trying to dismantle it. And I'll also say number two, and this is how I know Joe. I'll go back to what I just said. The one event I went for entrepreneurs in the White House that Joe Biden put on and spoke about his support for entrepreneurship is one more event than Donald Trump has ever thrown for entrepreneurs in the White House or anywhere else. Uh, all right. So if you want to go into voting, by, listen, I, I I kind of admire you because you got you know I love your outspoken. I love that you like entrepreneurs. I think you're well. Not only does Mark Cuban like entrepreneurs, he is one himself. He actually did pull himself up by his bootstraps and isn't simply making money acting as a mouthpiece for money interests. I imagine Hannity will do this numerous times between now and November. We will see what happens, but I get the sense that in order to win, all Biden needs to do between now and November is to maintain a pulse. One final thought about Hannity. What is with the pen? For well over a decade, he's been holding a pen as he grifts and shouts over his guests with his endless sophistry. But I've never seen him write anything down. Seriously, what's with the fucking pen? And this time it looks like he's holding a magic marker.